Okay, so just that fast, the unit is up and ready to go. Uh, now if I select the unit to unlock it, uh, I can either go left for a camera, which is this way, or I could go right, which unlocks the, the tablet. And uh, looks like it starts off right on the main menu. Uh, you have different options such as diagnostics, maxi fix, shot manager, a couple of other settings including updating uh, directly from the tool. You also have remote desktop in case you need support. Uh, someone can log in from Autel or from ourselves, log into the unit and uh, help you with some support. Uh, there's also training available, uh, some quick links, and some pre-installed apps such as Scope, LabScope, and Digital Inspection. Uh, now, as far as we know, the LabScope isn't available yet. Uh, it's still in the process of being developed, and uh, there's no ETA at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start off now. On the main screen here, we go to the front of the main screen. We have Diagnostics. We'll go ahead and click on that. And this gives us all our different car manufacturers here. Uh, at the top, you have different uh, ways to search. You can search by region, USA, European, Asian. There's also other pages at the bottom here. You'll see uh, two little uh, page icons. You can go left and right. If you click all, click all, you can swipe through all the different pages of manufacturers. That's pretty neat. But it looks like it does come preloaded with some software. I do have this connected to a vehicle. I have the VCI connected to a 2011 Dodge Charger. Uh, let's go ahead and get it connect, uh, connected. And let's get the software running and see if we can actually access the software without registration. Uh, looks like there is a, a version of the software, and this says Chrysler version 1.01. Uh, and then it gives me two options, uh, particular years, or all except these years. Go ahead and click on the first one. It says set the ignition switch to on which it is, we'll hit OK. And it detected the car, model year 2011, Dodge Charger, hit yes if that's correct. And uh, then it asked me what I want to do, diagnosis or service. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on diagnosis. And uh, you can either do an auto scan, which will scan all the possible modules on the vehicle, or you can do a control unit, which lets you go to a specific or particular module on the vehicle. In this case, I'll just hit auto scan. Uh, execute all DTC tests. The check-in will take some time. Do you want to execute this test? We'll hit yes. And it looks like it's doing the auto scan. Now, I do notice here at the top, I have uh, tabs. That's, one says list, the other says tree. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on, it's on, currently on list. We'll click on tree and see what that brings up. Uh, but it, right now, it's going through all the di possible different modules that are on this vehicle. And it uh, looks like it's pretty easy to see when there's a fault code. Uh, it comes up in red, and it, instead of saying pass no fault, it tells you how many codes are on that particular module. In this case, the uh, tire pressure monitor has one uh, DTC stored in it. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Um, it gives you all the possible modules that this tool can access. Uh, looks like under body controller, there's another a code. So let's go ahead and just uh, tap on one of the one of the modules that has co codes in it or stored DTCs. It uh, gives you a couple different options: erase codes, uh, read codes, live data actuators, ECU configure information, and ECU information. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just read the codes, and it gives me the code there. Um, Pretty easy, pretty fast. Uh, you could, looks like you could also access some type of freeze frame data up here on the top. There's a uh, icon here. You tap on it. Environment data system initializing. Um, that looks like it gives you a couple of different values there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and back out of this right now. Back out of it. Uh, from this screen, though, you can uh, save, which it looks like you can save a vehicle record. You can change the name of it uh, up to 25 characters, hit OK, and it saves it onto the tool. Uh, you also have the option of doing a report, and it looks like it gives you a report of all the different modules, um, the, how many faults are in it, and the status of them. So we'll go ahead and hit back.
quick erase, I believe that erases all uh, codes that are on the vehicle. OK will take you, OK does, oh, it selects the, the module that you picked before, or the system. And escape will take you back, uh, do you want to exit? You can exit directly from here back to the main screen by hitting yes. And uh, we go out of it. And you can back out the different screens just by pressing escape. If you want to completely back out of the tool, uh, you can hit the M button here. That takes you back to your main uh, app screen. So it looks like that's it for now. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and click on update, and I'm curious if it's going to try to update the tool. Looks like it can because it definitely does need to register the tool. So um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll go ahead and on the next video do a registration, actually update the tool, and connect it back on this 2011 charger to see if we can get that tree uh, screen to come up. Thanks for watching.